Alright, matchup number one. Good luck. <laughs> uh, we're trying this. Cover of runes. Hopefully your opponent doesn't have uh, Guessing this is a version of Hammer, but I'm not sure, so. Instead of lighting. Hmm. Of course, they have the solitude. Oh, well, it is what it is. Foes can come in. So no creature can't keep it. 
We'll keep it. Kind of hard to beat solitude, unfortunately. This was clearly a bad matchup with Solitude. Normally you can get an opponent to tap out, but it is what it is. Alright, matchup number two. Sure, why the heck not? go. This one's still attacking here. And force us to burn a spell. We really don't want to burn. Another guy is so freaking huge here, but
another block here. So we're up against Mythic Glaive. some of these well, the dirt and bolt are both probably pretty bad the combo game or not. Sounds about right. A little bit awkward from the, obviously we don't have the combo, well the resonance combo, but we do have fairly reasonable opening. Alright. Let's do that instead of giving them a free target. Did they burn a tart fire? Probably not. Mm hmm. Want this Phoenix? <clears throat> Do you ever tap out again? Is a question mark. Probably not. Sure. Okay, my opponent chooses death. Come on, opponent. Where's the fun in that? All right, so we're here with a quick wrap. Uh, this version is based off, largely off the work of 
Fajoko Nayoya. Looks like over at RCQ in or an open over in Japan or South Asia somewhere. Um, Leyline of Resonance was a card I've been interested in testing, and its price has come down recently as its standard and pioneer hype kind of wear off. Um, and I was looking for just kind of like a spicy list. Like I could have just played Gruel or something like that and just kind of, you know, played the expected. Um, but this deck, I completely forgot about Clever Luminancer. Now, granted, playing O1s in this modern format is pretty trash. But this triggers off of both uh, casts and copies, so it really plays well with Leyline. Line. Um, I did make one change to the list, and that is kind of copy of Monstrous Rage for the fourth Cacophony Scamp. Um, I just want 16 creatures in my list, period. Um, Maximize our chances of having a creature in our opening hand. Obviously, Lay a clever Luminancer can easily kill on turn two. Cacophony Scam can kill on turn two. Slick Shot can easily kill on turn three. Swift Spear is the best prowess creature probably in Magic, um, for, especially for one mana because it has haste and whatnot. Um, the rest of the list is just pretty thoroughfare. Um, Assault Strobe for Double Strike, Monstrous Rage for Trample, uh, Mutagenic Growth because it protects from Bolt and does stupid things. Blossoming Defense as a, as a protection spell. Scale Up as because it does ridiculous things. You know, it's done ridiculous things in Infect, done ridiculous things in Prowess. Um, four copies of Minamorphos. Uh, this is more commonly seen in Storm these days. But it was a card that for a time was seen a decent bit of play back in the day when Is It Phoenix was like... Um, Monastery, Swift Spear, Soulscar Mage, Fey, uh, Dragon Fey, and um, Stormwing Entity as a way to enable Stormwing Entity, as a way to trigger your prowess. Um, and in a deck that's mana is kind of exceptionally greedy for the mana base, um, does help fix your colors for Legion leadership for your green spells without having to necessarily, you know, Phyrexian spell these immunogenic growths. And I really played match one loose, I'm not going to lie, um, especially game one. Um, you know, I wasn't playing around in Solitude. I don't know that we really could have afforded to play around Solitude and got blown out. And then game two, obviously, they had the Solitude plus the protection of red creature. And I binned our, one of our white abilities to get a white source, and I just wasn't going to play that game. Because honestly, I was just kind of playing this the first couple of matches of this league a little fast and loose. And then Leyline Residence, if you haven't actually read it, it is a bit of a doozy. Now, most Leylines have some interesting effects, you know, like Leyline Avoid, um, Exiling Graveyards, um, Leyline Sanctity, you get Hexproof. Um, you know, Red has some stinkers and some decent ones. Leyline of Punishment being anti-life gain, anti-damage prevention. Uh, Leyline of Combustion, anytime you or one of your creatures is targeted by your opponent, you they take two damage. Um, but Resonance is the new one from Dustmorn. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets only a single creature you control, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. So, while drawing this in the mid-game, obviously it's going to suck. Um, having this in your hand opener obviously kind of turbocharges what this deck is trying to do. Cyborg, Fearfire Foes, probably the best card overall against um, doo -doo -doo. the best card overall against um, Boros. Clears some of their creatures, potentially allows you to kill one of their two or three toughness creatures in the mid game. Plus, it I didn't realize this also has. Damage can't be prevented tackled onto it. This is probably the best pyroclasm effect for the deck that you're trying to play. Plus doesn't, you know, damage your own creatures. Emerald Breach, not really sold on this one. Exercise, this is a card I'm not as familiar with. Um, I could easily see this being uh, the one in a red, fall in the fire, or whatever, the one that uh, 
either exiles an artifact or um, does two damage as you choose divided among creatures. But exile artifact, enchantment, or creature of power to four or greater. Um, while it is a sorcery, does exile the one ring, does exile, um, you know, random artifacts and enchantments you don't care about. Plus, you know, killing bigger creatures, you know, kind of gives you some outs against, you know, things like Frog, Nether Goyf, Murktide, Aborn Oculus, etc., etc. Apostle's Grace or Apostle's Blessing uh, gives you another protection effect. Um, I'm not sure whether this is better over this or something like um, uh, Serpent Skin, but you know, it can be for one colorless mana, so with a Phyrexian. Um, does potentially allow you to attack through creatures if your opponent has creatures of all one color. So not a terrible card. I should have brought this in against um, the uh, LD, well, not Light Destruction, but Death and Taxes-esque deck instead of the weird sideboard plan I had with like the Orange Chance and um, etc. But uh, Path to Exile, not the best removal spell in Modern anymore, but does serve purposes in a deck like this when you just need to clear things out of the way. For instance, Frog, Oculus, Nether Goyf, etc. And then three copies of Orm's Chant. Um, this is primarily anti-Storm Hate, uh, but it can also buy you a turn in some spots. Um, you know, it's basically Silence with potential upside. Uh, I don't know how often you're going to be able to hit the kicker as you're Mana base is a little stretched with the way the, the mana base for this bit deck is built, but you know, just being able to silence the storm player for a turn, or you know, potentially the Eldrazi player, um, this could buy you the turn you need. Uh, very similar, kind of somewhat similar effect. Um, could buy you a turn against you know, Storm, Amulet, Belcher, like all these different decks that could just you know be an absolute nightmare for you, or just be about just as fast as we are. It's crazy that these prowess decks obviously are on the downtick. And, you know, the interactive decks are, you know, kind of a nightmare. You know, energy is tricky. Uh, frog is tricky. But if you ever figure out the interactive decks, the, the explosive power of this deck it, it is kind of insane. And, and I know there's been some discourse in the Discord about why people continue to register Assault Strobe and, you know, energy builds the better build and this that and the other thing but i really think that you kind of need the combo to keep up with the two-thirds of the meta that isn't frog and energy you know whether it's amulet eldrazi uh storm belcher um so i don't know i wish there was like a consistent build that did really well like we were kind of doing during nadu but I think Nadu was just kind of this weird check on the format, so. But um, kind of kept energy a little bit at bay and kept uh, Frog a little bit at bay. So, anyways, if you like Pros content or modern content in general, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hope to see you for our next video.